some of the cranial nerves are involved in reflexes. First we will consider the light reflexes. There are two types of light reflexes, the direct light reflex and the consensual light reflex. When a torch is flashed onto one eye, the information from the retina is taken through the optic nerve of that eye through the optic tract to the pretectal nucleus of the same side and that pretectal nucleus is connected bilaterally to edinka westphal nuclei. The edinka westphal nucleus of the same side sends parasympathetic fibers through the oculomotor nerve of the same side through the ciliary ganglion to the sphincter pupillary muscle and constricts the pupil. That is called direct light reflex. The opposite edinga westphal nucleus also sends parasympathetic fibers through the opposite oculomotor nerve, through the opposite ciliary ganglion to the sphincter pupillary muscle of the opposite eye. And the pupil of the opposite eye also constricts. That's consensual light reflex. This schematic diagram illustrates the pathway of direct and consensual light reflexes. Accommodation Convergence Reflex There are three components to the Accommodation Convergence Reflex. Number one, Accommodation. Accommodation means increasing the curvature of the lens. Convergence means the adduction of the two eyes by the contraction of the two medial rectile. Pupillary Constriction Visual cortex is connected to frontal eye field areas in the frontal lobe. Through association fibers. Looking at a near object, frontal eye field area sends information to somatic motor nuclei and edinka westphal nuclei of the oculomotor nerve bilaterally. The somatic motor fibers of the oculomotor nerve nerves supply the medial recti and the parasympathetic fibers of the oculomotor nerves pass through the ciliary ganglia. When the medial recti contract, the convergence takes place. Ciliary muscles are supplied by the parasympathetic coming through the ciliary ganglion and the ciliary muscle contracts, causing accommodation or increased curvature of the lens. Interpupillary muscle contraction causes constriction of the pupils. Agile Robertson pupil is a condition that is caused in neurosyphilis. In neurosyphilis, there is damage to the pretectal nucleus and as we have discussed before, the light reflexes pass through the pretectal nucleus and as a result, light reflex is absent in Agile Robertson pupil of neurosyphilis. Since the accommodation reflex does not pass through the pretectal nucleus, 
accommodation reflex is present in patients with agile Robertson pupil. To elicit corneal reflex, patient is requested to look straight. The lateral end of the sclera is touched by the point of a piece of cotton wool. The sclera is supplied by the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. The sensory, the, the touch impulse is taken through the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve to the main sensory nucleus of the trigeminal nerve in the pon. There are connective neurons connecting up the main sensory nucleus of the trigeminal nerve to the branchial motor nucleus of the facial nerve in the pons. Branchial motor fibers originating from the branchial motor nucleus of the facial nerve pass through the facial nerve and its branches to reach the obicularis oculi muscle and the contraction of the obicularis oculi muscle closes the eye. The afferent pathway of corneal reflex is the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve and the efferent pathway is the facial nerve. Jaw jerk or jaw reflex the patient is asked to open the mouth slightly. The examiner taps his index finger placed on the patient's chin in a downward direction. This tapping will stretch the masseter muscle. When the masseter muscle is stretched, the, the, the impulses are taken from the masseter muscle through the branches of the ophthalmic uh, through the branches of the trigeminal nerve to the mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve and from there they connect up with the branchial motor nucleus of the trigeminal nerve and the motor impulses are sent through the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve to the masseter muscle and the masseter muscle contracts. Mouth closes up. Gag reflex or pharyngeal reflex. When the posterior part of the tongue, soft palate or posterior wall of the pharynx is touched by a tongue depressor, there is reflex contraction of the pharyngeal muscles, which is called gag reflex. The efferent pathway of gag reflex is glossopharyngeal nerve, and the efferent pathway is to the vagus and cranial root of accessory. Bulba palsy. Bulba refers to the medulla of the brain stem. In bulba palsy, the lower cranial nerves, 9, 10, 11, and 12th cranial nerves having their nuclei in the medulla are affected. Patients has difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in chewing, and there is nasal regurgitation, slurring of speech, and difficulty in articulating words. During examination, one can notice absent gag reflexes, sometimes normal or absent jaw jerks, and the weakness of the soft palate and dribbling of saliva. Condition called pseudobulbar palsy. The symptoms appear like in bulba palsy, but in this case, the lower motor neurons are not affected, but the upper motor neurons are affected. As a result, when the patients are examined, rather than absent reflexes, increased or exaggerated reflexes can be noticed. <laughs>